and we'll be good to go. And I'm going to keep my socks on for like <laughs> the first five minutes until I feel like I'm warming up. Um, we'll come down and find a seated position. You can go however you want, cross-legged, legs out in front of you. You can sit in a long butterfly. That works great too. Wiggle around a little bit just so that you can feel your sits bones. And I want you to anchor your sits bones down into the mat. Imagine that you're a tree, you're planting roots, you're kind of rooting down into your mat. Take your hands so they come right to the tops of your legs. And then give me a big roll of the shoulders as you open up through the chest and let your shoulder blades slide down and back. From there, we'll take four big, deep breaths. Inhale as you breathe in through the nose, fill the body up with air. Think about expanding through the rib cage from side to side and front to back. And then we'll exhale out, let everything go. For three more like that, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Okay, for two, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, last one, we'll inhale. And then exhale out, let everything go. Good, from right there, we're gonna move the legs so they come into a mermaid position or 90-90 sit. Take your right leg in front of you, left leg out by your side, move your feet so that they're about six inches away from your body. So you've got a lot of room right there. We'll flex through both of the feet and then reach your arms so they go out to T. Good, from there, we take an inhale, you'll shift over towards the right. I'm mirroring you, if that throws you, you can do whatever you want. Reach the left arm up overhead, nice big side body stretch. Mm -hmm. Drop your shoulder away from your ear. Good. And then exhale, press up through center. We'll take that same thing over towards the left, reaching the left hand either to your foot, to your leg, to the mat, and then taking the right arm up overhead. Same thing. Try and drop that left shoulder away from the ear. Good. For two more, we'll come up and over. Right side goes down. Left arm reaches up. Good. And then again, we're going to come up through center. We go over to the left, left hand down, right arm up. Good, for one more, we come up and over, right side goes down, left arm reaches up. Good, and then we're gonna come back over, left side down, right arm up. Good, okay, from here, we're gonna come all the way up through center, hands are coming behind you and you're gonna bring the legs so they come right in front of you. Your feet are wider than your hips, you're pressing up and away from your mat. From right here, we're taking the left knee, you're pulling the knee in towards center, keeping your right side still, and then exhale to open up through that left side. Same thing on the right, you're pulling the right knee in towards center, and then opening up through the right. Keep going like that. Left side goes in and then opens. Right side goes in and opens. Let's do two more each side on the left. Good. And then on the right. Good for one more on the left. Good. And then on the right. Good. Everything will come up through center. We're just going to swap out the leg. So that now the left leg is in front, right leg is out by your side. I'll warn you right away. It'll probably feel a little bit different on this side. Let it be different. It's normal that it's different. You're a human and not a robot. Okay. So <laughs> flex both of your feet. Try to stay heavy through the outsides of your legs. Reach the arms out to T. Same deal. We just take that side body stretch over towards the left. Left side goes down, right arm reaches up. We're dropping the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, you're going to press up and over. What's going on? on over there just reach the right arm up overhead or left arm sorry we'll do three more each side we go up and over good and then again we're gonna come up and over good Alyssa is that you with your dog <laughs> your family dog <laughs> for two more we go up and over towards the left good and then back up and over towards the right Good. For one more, we go up and over towards the left. <laughs> I want to get a dog so bad, but that right there is the reason that I'm like, mm, maybe not yet. Up and over towards the right for the last time. And then we're going to come all the way up through center. Hands can go behind you. You're going to take your legs, reach them all the way out in front of you. Opening your feet up so that they are about mat's distance apart, flexing your feet, pulling your toes to your nose, pushing the heels forward. 
you'll reach your arms so they go out in front of you and we're just going to do four roll downs you'll inhale as you sit up tall reach the crown of the head up exhale as you draw in from the belly button think about pulling your rib cage downward toward your hips as you round through your spine and then start to roll yourself all the way back towards your mat pressing each little piece of your spine down inch by inch piece by piece shoulders will go down head will go down your arms will reach back overhead take a big inhale as you reach the arms out let your back arch off of the mat and then exhale, squeeze from underneath the armpits to lift your arms above your shoulders. Bring your spine back down towards the mat as you press the hands down towards the tops of the legs, tuck your chin to your chest. Use the strength of your upper abs. Start to roll yourself all the way up. It doesn't have to be beautiful. If it takes a couple of tries, that's fine too. Come up through seated. Uh-huh, take your time. And then inhale, round forward through the upper back like I'm pulling on your fingertips to pull you forward. Good. Three more just like that. You'll inhale as you sit up tall, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale as you draw in, belly button to spine, pulling the hips and rib cage closer towards each other as you find that deep curve. Good, take it all the way down. Awesome, shoulders down, head down, arms reach back overhead, big inhale. And then exhale, squeeze from underneath the armpits, press the hands down towards the tops of the legs. If that first roll down didn't go how you wanted it to go, let's try something different. Bending the knees, planting the feet flat on the mat, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels, come all the way up to seated and then round forward. If you like knees bent, feet flat, keep doing it like that. If you're sticking with the legs out in front of you, stick with the legs out in front of you for two more inhale as you sit up tall exhale as you draw in belly button to spine we roll things down good keeping the feet flexed good natalie perfect shoulders go down head goes down arms reach back overhead big inhale and then exhale squeeze from underneath the armpits lift your arms press the hands down towards the tops of the legs allow yourself to take more than one try to roll all the way up pressing into the hips pressing into the heels you take as much time as you need good come all the way up to seated and then inhale round forward through the upper back reach over for the toes good just one more because we have been taking these at a glacial pace which is you know good way to set the tone inhale as you sit up tall Exhale as you draw in, belly button to spine, pulling hips and rib cage closer to each other as we roll things down. Good. Keep your gaze forward, trying to keep your gaze and your chin parallel to the mat for as long as you can. Shoulders down, head down, arms reach back. You've probably rolled yourself a decent way off of your mat. Inhale right here. Exhale as you squeeze from underneath the armpits. Press the hands down towards the tops of the legs as you tuck your chin to your chest. You're going to press into your hips, press into your heels slowly with control. You're coming all the way up mm -hmm. and then rounding forward through the upper back as you reach over for the toes. All right, perfect. From right there, you can sit up tall, take your hands behind you, bend your knees and scoot your hips forward. From there, we lay all the way down onto the mat. And I think now it's time for me to take my fuzzy socks off. I'm feeling a little bit warmer. <laughs> I say that now. Um, from here, once you get down towards the mat, your shoulders are going to stay down. Your head will stay down. We'll lift the knees so that they come up above the hips, lifting to tabletop. Before we move anything else, take your hands to your hips. You can kind of cup your hips with your hands like so, and just feel where your pelvis and where your hips are landing. If you feel like you're pulling forward a little bit and like your back is arching off of the mat, try and pull your hips backwards so you can feel more of the mat around the base of your spine. Okay. Work to find neutral right there. Okay. All we'll do is take an inhale. You're going to tap the right toes down towards the mat. Exhale, as you pull from the lower abs, you'll lift the right knee back up above the hip. Same thing on the left. You're going to inhale, tap the left toes down, and then exhale, pull back through center. And you'll just keep moving like this. Right side goes down. Good. And lift. And then left side goes down. Good. And lift. Keep moving from right there. Good. Good. And think about moving from the hip instead of just bending your knee to tap your toes. Good. Yes, that was perfect, Jess. Good. Good. 
Okay. Now, if you feel like you can do a little bit more and you'd like to do a little bit more, you don't have to, you can move your hands either behind your head or take them out by your hips, peel up through head, neck, and shoulders, and just hold in that upper body crunch or in your ab curl as you continue to tap the toes. It's an option. You don't have to take it. If you want to, you absolutely can. Good but more than likely you have felt the work happening through the front of the body with your head down. So, you know, it's a lot of work, no matter how you take it. Okay. Let's do four more. It's four and four for three. Good. And three. Good. Two and two. Awesome. Last one. And one. Good. With that last one, both of your knees come back up above your hips. I want you to glue your big toe and your heels together and then open up through your knees and your hips just a little bit. So you create a diamond shape through your legs. Similar kind of thing. We're going to start with the head, neck, and shoulders down. Check in with your back. If you feel your spine lifting off of the mat, just kind of pull it in a little bit. All we'll do right here is exhale, pull the knees closer to each other, squeezing in through the inner thighs, and then inhale. You're going to open your knees right back out, creating that diamond shape. Pull it in. Let's exhale, pull it in, and then inhale. You're going to open it right back out. Think about this as like a, a clamshell. That's pretty much what it is the clamshell just in a different position. Good. Good. All right. Nothing too complicated, right? Unless it is, unless your brain is just like not quite there yet, then that's fine. That's fine. It's a holiday week. I can't expect you to be your sharpest. Okay, we're going to build off of this. So if you are ready, the next time that you open your legs up into this diamond position, you'll hold the diamond position. You're going to inhale as you drop from your hips, opening up the front of your hips. You're going to drop this diamond down in the direction of the mat. Exhale as you pull from the lower abs, you're going to lift back up and then pull the knees together, squeezing through the inner thighs. Inhale as you open up into this diamond shape, you're going to lower it down. Ooh, lift it back up and then bring the legs together and you'll keep moving like that. It does not have to be a big movement as you're lowering. Yep. Lowering the diamond down towards the mat. It's probably going to stay pretty small. Okay. If you want to do more, you've got the same option as before. Hands can come outside of your hips or behind your head. You're more than welcome to lift up into that upper body crunch and maintain that same movement. Lower, lift, pull in, open up. Good. Good. The options you take are totally up to you. All right. So if something isn't sounding good or it's not feeling good, pick a different option. Good. We'll do four more just like this. Good. It's four. Yep. And I'm counting you, Alyssa. So set that slow pace for three. Good, cat. For two. <laughs> for two. Good. And then last one, you pull the knees in, you open them out. You're going to inhale, drop the diamond shape down towards the mat. Exhale as you lift right back up. Okay, good. From there, let's all hug the knees in towards the chest and then just take a little rock from side to side. Take a deep breath. Okay. From here, you've got two options. You can take your feet down towards the mat, take them about hips distance and plant your feet down. That's a good option. If you want to stay there, you stay there. If you're feeling good to keep the legs up in tabletop, go ahead and keep the legs up in tabletop and we will take things from there. Okay. I'm going to start with my feet down, but if you're feeling tabletop, take it there. We'll go right hand behind the head, open up through the elbow, and then reach your left hand so it goes out to the outside of your hip. 
On this one, you're going to take an exhale as you lift up through head, neck, and shoulders. And then all we're going to do is take a little side bend over towards the left, reaching the left hand towards the outside of the left heel. Same kind of thing. If you're up in tabletop, you're just going to side bend, reaching the left hand towards that bottom left corner of your mat and exhale, pull it all the way back in. You're going to stay lifted as you do this. Think about squeezing through at the left side of the body, pulling the rib cage and the top of the hip a little bit closer to each other. Good. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we're going to check in on is our hips and our feet. They should be staying locked into place as best they can. Typically when we do side bending like this, your opposite hip wants to follow you. Good. We'll hit four more like this. It's four. Good. For three. Oh my gosh, I can hear the wind whipping outside of my window for two. Good. And then last one. Awesome. Everything comes down through center. You pick where you want your legs to go. They can stay in tabletop. They can come down to your mat. We're moving right over to the other side, left hand behind the head. Whoo. Oh my gosh. Right arm goes out by your side, right out by your hip. And then again, when you're ready, you're going to exhale, lift up through head, neck, and shoulders, pulling rib cage down towards the hips. You'll take your right side. You're going to inhale as you reach the right hand down towards that right corner of your mat. Exhale as you pull back through center. Same thing with the feet down. You reach and then bring it back in. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay, again, check in with your hips, check in with your feet, make sure everything is staying uh, as locked into place as it can be. Inhale as you reach up and over, finding a side bend. Exhale as you take it back through center. Let's go for just three. Good, for two. Awesome, and then last one. Good. With your last one, your head is going to drop down. Your knees will pull in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug and then just rock from side to side. Take a breath. Okay. From here, let's roll things over so that you come onto your, let's go left side down. So however you want to get there, left side's going to go down. You're going to press yourself up so that you prop up onto your left forearm. Okay. From right here, you've got the hips stacked, the knees stacked, and the feet stacked. You have your elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Now, what I like to do right here is take the right hand, bring it to the left side of your body, and pull the left side of your body up and away from your mat. Okay. So we want the hip kind of pointed up. We want to engage through this bottom side oblique. Whew. <laughs> and now I'm going to mentally prepare for what I know we're going to do right here. Right hand goes behind the head. You're going to open up through the elbow, reaching the elbow up towards the top corner of your room. You'll press into your left hand. We squeeze the inner thighs together. Everything is engaged. Press into that left hand. It's going to be an exhale as you do a little lift up and away from your mat. It can be super tiny. And then inhale, you pull it right back down. Okay. If you want to try kind of fanning your left arm out and pressing up from right here, you can do that too. Okay, just play around with it. Figure out what's going to feel best for you on your elbow and your shoulder and just kind of everything in general. Now, this can stay super tiny. You can lift one inch and then lower. You could lift all the way up so that your arm is fully extended and then lower. It's up to you. Okay, so you don't have to push it. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I love seeing dogs. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Good. All right, we are going to build off of this. Can you believe it? We're gonna press up and then you lower down. Once your forearm comes down, we're gonna add on something with the legs, taking the top leg, which is the right leg. You're just gonna lift it up, lower it back down, and then go back into that little, I'm gonna call it a triceps press, press up, lower down. 
we're going to open and close. Good. We go up. We take it down. We are going to open and close. If adding on the press up in the upper body is feeling like not the most fun thing in the world, just ditch it and move through your leg. That's okay. What did I do there? Too many things. Making it too complicated. Open up, lower down, press up and take it home. Let's just do one more like that. And then we're going to ditch this upper body push. Open the leg, close the leg, press up. Mm -hmm. And then lower back down. Okay. Once you get there, we're just going to stick with the movement through the leg, opening the top leg up and taking it down. We'll lift up and lower down. You can keep the right hand behind the head. I kind of like it there. You can reach your right arm up above the shoulder if you want to try that. See if that feels better, if it changes anything for you. You can also take your right hand so it comes right down to the mat, just for a little bit of extra support. Okay. And again, it's going to be a time to just mentally prepare. Keep moving like this. Exhale as you open up. Inhale as you take it down. Good. If you have the left forearm angled out towards the top corner of the mat, go ahead and bring it back in so that your fingertips are facing forward because we're going to add on to this. It's going to be fun. And if it doesn't feel fun initially, that's okay. That's all right. Right hand goes back behind the head. We start to build off of this. You're going to take one clamshell with your bottom hip down, lift up through that right leg, pull it back down. And then you're going to give me a big exhale, lift up through that bottom hip as you take another clamshell. I know, I know. Close your legs, bring it back down and then go back in. We do one clamshell here and then you're going to do one clamshell here. Uh-huh. Good. Now, if you tried that first rep and you said, no way in hell am I doing more than one rep of this, that's fine. That's fine. Just keep it moving from right here. Good. Good. Cat, you're like, no. <laughs> it's all right. I know. Sometimes, listen, sometimes on a you know holiday-ish class, I'm nice. Some days I'm uh, mean, but with a smile on my face. Let's just do two more. We lift and then lift. Good. With control. Last one. We lift up through that top leg. You're going to bring it back down. Lift up. Good. And then bring it all the way back down. Good. Okay. Take a second right there. We're going to press up off of our, uh, this hand. Just take a second. Breathe. Okay, pull your feet in a little bit closer and then press all the way up off of your uh, left side. Take your right hand to your feet and then find a little side body stretch right here. Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh, more dogs. I love this. This like fills my void for not having a dog. Good. Okay, everything's going to come back in. You're going to set back up onto your left forearm and we get to do something just as fun as that. Okay. A little bit more practice on that tricep. We're going to call it a triceps press or like a, I don't know, a single arm push up, kind of. Um, angle your left forearm out towards that top corner of the mat. Okay, we've been here before, right? Right hand goes behind the head. You're going to open up through the elbow. Press heavy into that left hand. Big exhale as you lift up and away. Mm -hmm. Inhale as you take it right back down. Good. Exhale, you're going to press up. Good. Inhale, you take it right back down. Good. Lift up and then lower down. Now for this one, we're going to add on in a different way because we love variety. If you're ready to, you're going to keep moving through your arm and just extend your right leg so that it goes out in line with the hip. Lift up, lower down. Good. Lift up, lower down. You can roll your eyes at me. It's all right. Lift up. Good. Lower down. Okay. We're going to add on again. We lift up. Good. We're going to lower back down. Pause right here. Pull the right knee in towards you as you pull the right elbow down towards your knee. Like so. You're going to reach it back out. And then again, you're going to find your little push up, single arm push up. Take it back down. We pull knee towards the elbow. You're going to reach it back out. Take it up. Take it down. 
Okay. If you're over moving through the upper body, that's okay. Just keep it right here, reaching the leg out and then pulling the knee towards the elbow. That works great. I love that too. I just had this idea in my head. It's like, I think we can execute this today. I think we can. Good. Bring it in, reach it out, take it up, bring it down. Now, if you're really feeling wild, we're going to add on just one more time. The next time that your right leg is out in line with that hip, you're going to pull the left forearm back in. So the fingertips are forward. Can you guess what we're going to do here? Press up off of the bottom hip. Pull the knee in, uh-huh, reach it back out, and then come all the way down. I think on this one, we'll ditch the movement through the left arm. We pull the knee in, you're going to reach it out, lift up, knee comes in, it goes out, uh-huh, and then you take it back down. It takes practice, it takes control. You don't have to lift your hip up super high. It can be like one inch off of the mat. If you try one rep, and you make the conscious decision that it's not for you today, that's okay. Stay right here. Good. I would always rather you try and keep your momentum going than try and push through something that your body just doesn't want to do today. Okay. We're going to do two more like this. Whew. For two. Much more fun than just a boring old sideline series, right? Just kidding. Really, my goal today was like, I, we need to do something that's going to build a little bit of heat because I'm freezing cold. This is our last one. Knee to elbow. Reach it back out and then come all the way down. Okay. Again, you're going to press up off of that left hand. Come all the way up. Pull the feet in nice and close towards you. Jam it in there and then reach the left arm so it goes up overhead. Big side body stretch. Good. That was mean and I know it was mean. I know. Sorry. We're going to come all the way up through center. And then before we hit the other side, you're just going to as gracefully as you can roll all the way over so that you're face down on your mat. Beautiful. From there, <laughs> from there, as my hair gets like in my eyes, um, your hips are pressing down. Your feet will open up so that they're about mat's distance apart. Pressing the tops of your feet into the mat, taking your hands underneath the shoulders, forearms a little bit away from the body. You'll give me a big exhale as you press into your hands, roll the shoulders away from your ears, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Maybe if you want to, you lift up through the elbows, lift up through the front of the hips, come up a little bit higher. That's your decision. And then inhale, come all the way back down towards the mat, lowering your chest, lowering your forehead. We'll keep going like that. Exhale as you press up and away, lift the chest, lift the gaze. And then inhale, we come all the way back down. Mm hmm Good. Doesn't have to be huge. Let's just do three more. Exhale as we press up and away. And then inhale, we're going to come all the way back down. We'll go for two. Exhale, press up and away. Woo! And then take it down. Maybe you're screaming a little bit internally. That's all right. Last one. We exhale, press up and away. Lift the chest, lift the gaze. Good. And then inhale, take everything right back down. Forearms come down. Your chest comes down. Your head comes down. Take a second right there. Breathe. And then press down into your hands. Squeeze the legs together. You're going to press yourself all the way up and then reach your hips back to your heels as you find a child's pose and take your time getting back into that child's pose. Let your hips sink back. Maybe open up the knees a little bit wider. So you can get your chest closer towards the mat. Whew. Take a breath. And then when you're ready, we get to hit all that same fun stuff on the other side. Okay. So take an extra second, mentally prepare. Okay. Remind yourself that you can literally do anything. And then when you're ready, we're going to come on to our right side. It will prop up on the right forearm and we get to start just with our little, our little presses, our sing, I'm going to say single arm push up or tricep press or whatever you want to call it. Um, we learned from the other side, let's angle the right arm out. 
just a little bit. Your elbow is still going to be directly underneath your shoulder. I want you to take your left hand, bring it to your right side. Do you feel like your right side is collapsing down? It's okay if it is right now, but let's pull it all the way up so you can press up and away from your mat. You can stay engaged into that right side body. Good. Okay. From there, are we ready? I don't know if I am. Take <laughs> ah, take your left hand so it goes behind your head. Open up through your elbow and try and drop the shoulder away from the ear. If that feels like not the best option for you, take your hand to your hip or just somewhere else. Okay. When you're ready, we press into our right hand. Uh, okay. We press into the right hand. You're going to exhale, lift up and away, little lift, and then inhale. You take it right back down. Good. Exhale. You're going to go up and away. Mm -hmm. And then inhale, take it right back down. Good. Now maybe on this side, you feel a little bit more oblique work. I feel it a little bit more on my top, top side oblique my whatever side that is, the left side. Good. Perfect. All right. It's little, let it be little. We're going to add on next time that you bring the forearm down, you're going to take your left leg, open it up, bring it back down, press into the right hand, lift up, Good, lower down, okay? Now you get to make the decision that's right for you. If you wanna ditch the movement through your arm, ditch it. Ditch it, you don't need it. If it doesn't feel fun or you just don't wanna do it, let yourself not do it. Good. Good, because we have more coming, we're just gonna do one more press up of the arm. Open that left leg, bring it back down, press into the right hand. You're gonna come up, bring it back down. And then once you get there, angle the right arm forward. So your fingertips are pointing forward towards the long edge of your mat. Just take this clamshell through the left leg. See, there was a reason that we did clamshells in the beginning. It's all coming together, right? Okay. If you start to feel tension through the back side of your shoulder, I want you to take your left hand away from your head. Just bring the fingertips right in front of you. Okay. I know we're all stressed out. I know we get stressed out in my class too. So just try and try and eliminate any extra stress that you can. If you're ready to do more, we're going to do it. If you're not ready to do more, that's okay. Just stay right here. Okay. I'm not ready. So we're going to do one clamshell, open up through that left leg, bring it back down and then press into your right forearm, lift up through that bottom hip, take another clamshell in your sneaky side plank, pull it all the way back down, lowering with control. You're going to open that top leg. Good. Bring it back down, lift up and open. Uh-huh. And then bring it all the way back down. Good. Good. Okay. Now that we've moved through a couple of reps, you make the decision where you want to stay. If you want to keep pressing up into the side plank, do it. If you're like feeling like this is the worst thing in the world, just stay right here. Good. I'm kind of feeling like it's the worst thing in the world, but I know for me, <laughs> this is my weaker side. So should I keep moving through? Maybe, but I don't want to. Good. Just being honest. Let's do two more like this. Good. You're going to go for two. Good. And then last one, open, close, lift up. Good. And then bring it all the way down. Good. Okay. Take a second right there. We're going to press up off, oh, off the right side. Pull the feet in a little bit closer to your hips, grab a hold of the feet, and then reach the right arm so it goes up overhead. Big side body stretch. Good. <sighs> okay. When you're ready, we've got that second series to do. It's going to be super fun. Whew. We can do it. We can. We're coming back down onto our uh, right forearm. You're going to angle the fingertips out just a little bit. Remember, we're going to start back up with our 
single arm push up, our mermaid push up. I feel like I've called it a thousand different things in the time that I've been teaching. So, whatever you want to call it, that's what you're going to call it. Right hand down, we exhale, press up and away. It can be such a tiny lift. Inhale, you take it right back down. Good. We go up, we take it down. Yep. You got it. Okay. You can take a pause between reps. What I would do if you feel like this is a little too much, just do one, come back down, hold for a beat. Inhale, exhale, do another one. Okay. If you're ready to do more, we're going to extend the left leg out. So it goes out in line with the hip and you keep moving like this. Extending the leg out, I'm going to say it's going to help us a little bit. It might not initially feel the most helpful, but kind of serves as a, a counterbalance for us. If you disagree, that's okay. You can roll your eyes at me. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. When you're ready, I can't remember. Did we ditch the push up? I don't know. You're going to come back down to the forearm. I think we did bring the fingertips forward. We'll pull the knee in towards the elbow. And then you're going to reach it back out. Even if we didn't, let's ditch it now, reach that leg out. And then let's pop up into our side plank, pull the knee in towards the elbow, reach it back out. Good. Lower your hip down. You're going to go in and out. I feel like maybe we did do more push-ups on the other side. So if you want to do that, you can, if you don't want to do that, I understand as well. Good. Yeah. So if you want to keep doing this, Hey, go for it. I'm not going to, but go off. Good. Good. Perfect. I say, I'm not going to do something and then immediately do it. All right. Let's do like, I don't know, three more right here three. And if you want to stay right here, this is perfect. Just stay right here. Okay. You got it. This is going to be two. Good. If you're adding in the push up, great. Last one, we pull it in, reach it out. Oh my gosh. Lift it up, bring it in, reach it out. And then lower all the way down. You can pull the left leg in on top of the right. Woo, we're going to press up off of that right side. Take a second, collect your thoughts. Pull your feet in a little closer to your hips. Grab a hold of your feet and then take that big side body stretch, reaching up and over through the right side. Good. All right. We're heading into that final stretch a class when you're ready everything is going to come up through center we're going to take an extra second just to kind of shake out through the shoulders take a breath okay we're feeling warm we're feeling good when you're ready all we're going to do is pop ourselves up into a tabletop position so both hands come down you'll spread out through your fingertips press into the heels of your hands press into your knuckles press into the fingertips and then get your knees so they go right underneath your hips tuck your toes under onto the mat and you're going to give me a really big exhale tuck the tailbone under draw the lower abs kind of up and in and then hover your knees off of the mat take an inhale there and then exhale let your knees come back down we're doing four more like that so if that first rep didn't quite click you can watch on the next one exhale draw the belly button up and in hover the knees pause inhale and then exhale, let the knees come back down for three more. Exhale, press into the heels of the hands, press up and away from the mat, hover the knees, inhale. And then exhale, bring it back down <sighs> for two more. Exhale, press up and away, hover the knees. Uh-huh. Inhale, and then exhale, take it down. Okay, good. This is going to be our last one. I want you to lift up, hover the knees, hold it right there. Good, inhale, and then exhale, press the hips up and back, press the legs to straight, pressing the heels down towards the mat. From there, start to walk your hands in towards your feet, anchoring the heels down. Take a second, breathe. 
And then we'll slowly roll ourselves up to stand, pressing into the heels, rolling up through the spine, inch by inch, piece by piece, shoulders on top of the hips, crown of the head lifts up. And then once you get all the way up to stand, good news is we're going to stay there. Okay, good. We'll just come right towards the center of the mat. Let me roll up my sleeves because now I'm warm. I'm going to turn this way just so that you guys can get a side view of things. Feet are going about hips distance apart. And if you were with me yesterday, you know, we did, we did a, a generous amount of squats. We're just going to start off in some squats today. Just, just because feet, hips distance, press your weight into your heels. When you're ready, it's an inhale. You send your hips down and back exhale, drive down into the heels, stand all the way back up. Good. Inhale. As you lower exhale, as you lift. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Beautiful. Lower and lift. Good. Lower and lift. Perfect. Check in with the rest of your body. And I'm going to say your feet, especially if you feel like you're pushing your weight forward into the balls of your feet, try to shift your weight back into your heels. Try to get really light through your toes. Maybe even try and wiggle your toes away from the mat. Let's do five more like this. It's five. For four, good, three, beautiful, for two, last one, you're coming down into your squat, holding it right there, good, hold and breathe, tuck the tailbone under, so you've got a straight line from the tailbone all the way up your spine, shooting out the crown of your head, okay, from right here, shift all of your weights so that you're over into your left leg, hip, knee, and ankle all in line. Get lighter through your right toes. Maybe find your hands on your hips and then take that right leg. All we do is step the right toes back and then pull them back in. Don't tuck your toes under. Don't transfer weight back. Just tap the toes and then pull it in. Tap the toes and then bring it in. Okay. I'm going to give you more options here. If you feel like you can do more, why not? Let's do it. Instead of tapping your toes to the mat, you're going to hover your foot about an inch, maybe two inches above the mat, reaching your right leg back and then exhaling to pull the right knee in. You go back and you take it in. If you heard me said that and you say that and you said, no, not today, that's fine. Tap your toes back, pull it back in. Okay. I'm giving you options to progress so that you know what the next step is, right? The first option is a good option. I want you to master that. I want you to feel comfortable with that. And also know you can move on to the next option and always come back. Okay. If you want to do more, more, let's do more, more reach the arms out overhead biceps by the ears as you reach the right leg back and then exhale, pull the right knee in, pull the elbows in towards the sides of the body. Inhale. Everything goes out. Exhale. Everything comes in. Good. Yes. Beautiful. You got it. We're all moving at different paces. We're all kind of moving in different exercises, which I love. Let's just hang out here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then last one. With your last one, just take the right foot down so it comes in line with the left. Stand all the way up. Take a couple seconds, just march through your legs. Uh-huh. Fun part about having two legs is we get to do a lot of things twice, okay? So when you're ready, your feet just come hips distance. Whew, press down into your heels. I say just like it's like so easy. It's not, <laughs> it's not. We're gonna inhale, send the hips down and back. You come down into your squat. And then check in right here, tuck the tailbone under nice straight line from the tailbone all the way up the spine, out the crown of the head. Okay. Once you get there and you're ready to do more, we shift over into our right leg, hip, knee, ankle, all in line, press down into your heel, get lighter through the left toes. Ooh, we take that left foot. You're going to step it back and then pull back in. 
That's all. We step it back and then bring it back in. Good. Same thing we talked about on the first side. It's just a light tap of the toes, both back and in. Try not to transfer your weight back. That's the tricky part. Good. There you go. Okay, we're hinged forward a little bit in the upper body. Your gaze is down, but a little bit forward. Good. Okay, are you ready to do more? Let's do it. Hover your right foot. No, your left foot away from the mat. About an inch, maybe two inches. And then exhale, pull the knee in. Good. Inhale, reach it out. Uh-huh. Exhale, pull it in. Good. If you feel wobbly, that's okay. That's normal. That's normal. I'd be more concerned if you didn't feel wobbly. I'd have to question if you were a robot. And if you are, it's fine. Good. Are you ready to do more, more? Let's do more, more. Reach the arms out, biceps by the ears. And then exhale, pull everything in. Good. If that's an option that doesn't feel like it's quite in reach today, that's okay. It's an option you can do next time. My balance is definitely worse on this side, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Don't beat yourself up if it's not exactly the same on this side, or if you feel super wobbly, it's okay. Always a work in progress. Let's hang out here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then last one. Good. With your last one, everything can come in. You're just going to stand up a little bit of marching through the legs. I'm going to warn you right now. I'm going to go over by like two minutes because somehow I got carried away. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Usually it doesn't happen, but sometimes it does. From right here, just make your way towards the back edge of your mat. Ooh, open your feet up just a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to take a big inhale as you bend into the knees. Circle the arms up and around overhead. Good. Exhale. We're just going to dive it down towards the mat to find a forward fold, rounding through the spine, letting the upper body just kind of hang right here. Hands can come down to the mat. You can bend a little bit into your knees. Whew. Ah, just like scream a little bit in your head or outside of your head too. Um, we're going to pedal out through the feet. So I want you to push into your, do, 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 push into your left side. You can lift up through the right uh, heel and bend the knee a little bit. And then just kind of swap it over to the other side. Left heel lifts. And we're just going to switch and switch. Switch. And switch. Once you feel like you've had enough of that, both heels are down on the mat. You'll inhale as you bend deep into your knees, trying to point the tailbone down towards the mat, find a nice deep squat. Uh-huh. And then exhale, press things right back up. Come back into your forward fold. For two more like that, we inhale, bend at the knees. Nice deep squat. Good. Exhale, press into the heels, press the hips back up. For one more, we inhale, bend things down. Nice deep squat. Good. Exhale, press the hips back up. Perfect. From right there, we're going to do one more thing hanging in this forward fold. So if you need to come out of it, just come out of it. Um, left foot is going to kind of take on more of our weight. Shift your hip over towards the left. That's the word I was looking for. Left hand stays down. Right arm is going to reach up. Uh-huh. Good. You'll come back through center, even things out, and then shift over towards the right, straighten out through the left. Let the left arm lift up, opening up through the chest. Do that one more time each side. We come down, left side goes down, right arm reaches up. Good. Take it back through center. We press into that right side, reach the left arm up. Beautiful. From right there, everything comes through center very slowly. I want you to roll yourself so you come all the way up to stand, rolling up through the spine, inch by inch, piece by piece. 
slow, slow, slow. We'll restock shoulders on top of hips, lift the crown of the head up. And then once you come up to stand, you get to stay there. <laughs> and you're all finished with me for the day. We can get on with the rest of our Friday. And I am so excited to see all of the dogs.